So this is a gourmand scent. And gourmand is like gourmet. It's food. So when you smell so good that somebody want to take a bite out of you, this... I'm what they fear, black man with intelligence. Ghetto fab splashed with a dash of elegance. Well-spoken, but could tell them hood. Attitude funky, but that boy be smelling good. Not just a rapper, I'm a poet. They point out all my flaws, but fail to mention my heroics. Through the ages, different phases. Went from playing with razors to Dose Gabbana blazers. No more child's play, we grown. Less bottles of Patron, more bottles of Cologne. It's like a cheat code to make a coochie melt. She paying more attention to your fragrance than your Gucci belt. So go to Bloomies, cop a bottle or two. Get some sense for your girl, cop some bottles for you. I'm giving out lessons. Come and take a part of this class. Before you spray that fragrance on, make sure you wash your ass. Look, that's just something that I got to say. Step your collection up. No more Axe body spray. So in a sense, so what a hater gonna tell me? I'm Kobe when it comes to the colognes. You smell me? Ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, the salt in the sense, even in his absence. I remain Kobe when it comes to the cologne collection. Rest in peace to Gigi, the freestyles is flagrant. Fridays, we talk fragrance. Now today, I got a beautiful lady here. This is not one of them IG models, but this is one of them beautiful women that's walking around New York City that will fuck your life up. <laughs> the beautiful Tina, I ain't going to say your whole name. That's fine. All right? Because, cool. you know, we are... You oh, call me Lucifina. Lucifina, that's a whole <laughs> alias. That's not even your. No, that's not even it. No, no, that, no. That's not even it. So you um, you work at my gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I see you. I was actually, the other day, you walked past me. I was looking at an email about a guest coming on my show. Okay. And you said something to me. And you know, you just, your personality. I said, I was going back and forth like about whether they was coming on the show. And I said, why don't I just ask her to be on the show? You know what I'm right. saying? Bubbly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> always, always playing. Yeah. When I'm trying to get my sets in, you Look, always playing. Listen, there's not that many black people that come to our gym. So right. it's like y'all all stand out. So it's like, oh, I know, I know what time he's on. He's like, <laughs> I know exactly what time he's on. Right. So it's like, all right, cool. I mean, basically, you know, I'm just there doing my job. But like you, you came up to my office. I'm like, what the hell does he want? I was like, oh boy. I'm like, what did I said to you? I, what did, what did I said to you that you was like? You was like what? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah you yeah, was I'm like what? <laughs> yeah. yeah, because I, at the end of the day, it's like nobody shows up to my office like that. Like I always have like kind of like a resting bitch face at work sometimes, right. and kind of intimidating. So it was like for you to come to my office, I was like, oh no, what, what in the mother? What he wants? So <laughs> all right, well I have this show mm -hmm. where I talk about men's fragrances. And I get women's opinion on it. Um, and uh, cause I always say women pay more attention to a man's cologne than they, they do the Gucci belt. So I've always talked about fragrances. I want to get women's opinions now. Okay. okay, so we're gonna see what you think of some of these scents mm -hmm. and take it from there. All right. Okay. Do me a favor, y'all. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friend whose house smells funny. Cause chances are the crib stinks, they do too. Now, this is Black History Month. So all of these fragrances are made by black people, black owned businesses. This from the Harlem Perfume Company is Langston. Okay. Tell me what you think of that, all right? Now the top notes is Sri Lankan cinnamon, caramel apple. The middle's got orange, brandy, jasmine. Base has got tonka bean, sandalwood, and vanilla. You it's like nice. that? You like that? Hell yeah. It's kind of sweet. Right, right. So you know like, what happens. Yeah, I like them sweet too. <laughs> no. What? Um, this is dope. You like definitely that? Definitely smell the caramel. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is this is Harlem Perfume Company. When we talk about New York City, it's broken up into boroughs. You today came from Staten Island. <laughs> now people say. That if you from New York, you've been to Atlanta and Miami more times than you've been to Staten Island. That's like the lost borough. What what is it like growing up out there? Well, <laughs> it was it was okay. It was okay. Yeah. You didn't have like that 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 teenage New York experience. You going to the city like 
Oh, yeah, we did it all the time. We'll go to school, cut class, take the ferry, and come to either Brooklyn. Take the ferry. Can you explain that to, to the people? Because you, you got to remember, everybody's not from here. Okay, so basically so, to get... Come a little closer. To, so basically to get to Staten Island, you have to either take the ferry or you drive up there or the bus. Right. So So you got to take a whole boat yeah. to get to the city. Mm -hmm. So it's... The the average person in New York would say Staten Island is trash. Is Staten Island trash? For the people that haven't been there, yeah, sure. Okay. But to me, it's not trash. I mean, I right. don't have no issues. I don't have to move my car nowhere. I don't right. get ticket like that. You know, parking is easy. I mean, and it's for the most part, even in the hood, it's kind of quiet in the hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, what was it? There were only been, since I moved to the new block where I'm at, there was only been one murder right across from my building. So right. that happened. So it's, it's quite, kind of quiet. Yeah. I don't think Staten Island is trash. Shout out to my man Mac Wiles. Rest in peace to Megatron. That's funny because Meg, mm -hmm. you said you went to high school in No, Meg. I didn't go to high school with him. He went to. Oh, he went to a I different went to, school. I went to Tottenville. So but basically, you, we ran track together. We were part of a track team. And you, but you've known him since teenage years. Yeah. Uh, Meg was a good dude, man. Mm -hmm. He was um he was the MC uh, when I was on 106 in Park, and um you know that was like a job to me. So, you know, it was people I liked, it was people I didn't like, but he was one of the guys when I always went up there, he showed me love. Yeah. So Yeah, he was um, funny. He had a good personality. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Meg. So you mm -hmm. been working at the gym for how long? Mm. Come a little closer to the mic. I've been working there for two years. For two years. Mm -hmm. Do you have a gym crush besides me? <laughs> I definitely do not have a gym crush. Anymore. Never. Never. Uh -uh. Now I'm talking not outside of me, just anybody else. Why it gotta be about you? Eh. <laughs> It got to be somebody in there who you like, damn, this nigga, ooh, he working now, joint looking a little, right? Ooh, this is a tough one. It's somebody in there. I got three tiers of gym crushes. You zoom? Yeah. I got like- Please do not tell me those snow bunnies. Please, God. It's, Lord it's Jesus. three tiers. Please, God, don't, listen. First of all, first of all let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Your gym don't got no work in there. Uh, if we gonna be completely honest, That's fine. you 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 probably on the top tier of, of what's going on <laughs> in that gym. That gym don't got no eye candy in there. That's kind of why I like working out. I don't know what time you go in though. I, nah, I, I be there all different times. Sometimes I come in the day. Sometimes I come in the night. It depend on if I work. They ain't, <laughs> they ain't got no work in there, yo. I'm telling you, she's on the higher end of what's going on in that gym. And I don't even be working out like that. But you there? Yeah. Now. I, my home gym is 61st. Oh. The big one. They got mm. that work in there. You know what I mean? Really? They got some work in there, but me, like I said, when it comes to gym crushes, the rule is you never talk to them because you're here to do work. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I fantasize about it. You know what I mean? But it some some I like more than others. You know what I mean? Okay. So uh, can you agree that that's how it is with you? There's some guys in there you like, mm. Um... I would say there's three that I that I think is, you know. It's nice to know that I'm one of them three. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> oh Lord. So when it comes to gym etiquette, should I re-rack my weights? What you mean? Like put them joints back? Yeah. Yeah. I don't do that shit. Why not? Because I pay too much to come to that gym. And, and whoever else is working here, y'all should re-rack the weights for me. I don't got time for that shit. I'm here to, I'm here to do work. All right. I'm here from because here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I if I got a gym crush, somebody in there like me too. I'm somebody gym crush, <laughs> and I gotta get the work. I got to I got to, I got to do the work, man. I can't be in there playing. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna say this: the people that do what you like to do leave the weights behind. What about them? You're not my people. I don't like y'all. All right, well, hey. Um, just like, are you gonna charge me more to come? No, eat I'm gonna more tell you to I'm put the damn paying? thing away. Like, this is not your house. <sighs> just be nice. You know what I'm saying? You know what it is, though. Mm -hmm. I, I'll say that that's motivation. Mm -hmm. When you walk up, and because the only people that want you to re rack them is the people that can't lift that heavy. Because if you could lift that heavy, you'll just be happy that that's that rack that that's on there. Yeah. So that right there is motivation for you to lift heavy. I don't need no motivation. I'm not picking up after nobody. All right, listen, we're gonna get into this. Next. Yes, let's go. Right. <laughs> get into this next scene, okay? From the house of Nasir. This is pie, cognac, pie and cognac, okay? So this is a gourmand scent, and gourmand is like gourmet. It's food. 
So when you smell so good that somebody want to take a bite out of you, this has cognac, plum, peach, clove, cinnamon, saffron, apple pie crust, tonka bean, patchouli, and vanilla. What do you think of that? <laughs> it's okay for you not to like it. It's not it. You don't like that? Hell no. You know, so here's the thing. When I bought it that day, somebody said to me, no, it smells too much like food. It smells too much like food. It does. And that's how you feel too? It's like, it's like I'm like an apple pie or something. Apple pie that crust, it, specifically. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh -uh. I don't like apple pie. You don't like apple pie? Hell no. Do you like sweet potato pie? Yes, but this doesn't give me sweet potato. Okay, okay. No. Eh. Eh. Not it. Okay. Like I said, me, I like gourmand fragrances. I like the uh, to smell so good. But you know what? It's different when people put it on themselves. Right. Like your skin will kind of like change it. Yeah, the pheromones change exactly. it up a bit. So, but. So, what is your type of guy besides me? Like, what type of guy do you like? <laughs> oh my god! Oh lord! Do we have to go there? Um. Look, I, I don't know. I, I don't have any type them. anymore. I'm just basically like. It was it used to be white guys. I used to like white boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on. Guilty. Hold on. <laughs> you just told me <laughs> yeah. that it's not cool for me to exactly. like a white girl. Exactly. Because I know they devils. They're all devils. So they're all exed out. No, you can't say that because. The hell that's... yeah, I can. Because I was married to one. Oh, <laughs> you was married to a white man? <laughs> what? Oh shit! I could just hear the bombs dropping. Are you a chappy or daughter? Excuse me. Are you a chappy? What the hell is that? Chappy or daughter? Mm -mm. You don't know what that is? No. How you? You speak Spanish? Sí, si, pero ven acá. ¿Qué me tú te me estás diciendo a mí? Yo soy moreno. Espera, espera, espera. Devuelve. Rewind. Dime la palabra otra vez. Yo soy moreno, español un poco. Okay, pero no. ¿Cuál es la palabra que tú me dijiste? Tú no dijiste chapeadora. Did you just say that? What is the way you say? Chapeadora. Isn't that the girl that like the money? That's not called a chappy? A chapeadora. Yeah, what, what I didn't say it right? I asked, I asked you. I didn't say that that's what you was. I asked you, is that what you was? Hell no. I, I, was, thought, born, I, I was born in the States. No, but I just... Oh, so you not a hick? I... I am not a hick. You, I was born in the LES at St. Vincent's Hospital listen, on 14th Street. Listen. And, you know, it's not valid anymore, but anyway, go ahead. I'm asking, I'm not asking this for you for you and us. No. I'm asking this for the because they gotta understand. So when you come, when we talk about New York, uh -huh. you got the hicks that are straight yeah. off the boat. Can you detail what that means? A hick straight off the boat. Somebody they came from a different country to the States, but they're from like the countryside. The countryside, yeah, right? Somebody like maybe from Texas or some shit like that. Right. Now you got you. You native New Yorker. Mm -hmm. One of the girls that's walking around the city that'll fuck your life up. You thinking she look all good. <laughs> and and I'm telling you, it's a headache, y'all. I am not a headache. Then you got the chap. What's the, the fine? The are the ones that like, you know, they will just take niggas money. Like that Cardi B shit they did. You know, where they like drug them up. And it's just any any anybody. So what I was asking is 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 that why you your your likeness to the to the white man? Did you see this white man like okay that's the bag involved Hell generational no. wealth? No, I, absolutely not. Okay. He's from Pennsylvania. He's from Allentown. Like oh yeah, he ain't got yeah, shit over there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That, so, I, don't we can't go say they don't got shit. That's a blue collar working class town. You know what I mean? Because I used to live in Philly, so I know about PA. So no chappy. You was no. married to a white man, yeah. but I can't like the white girls that go to my gym. Well, you, you can like them all you want now, but I'm telling you right now, they're all the devils. They all are. So I don't think I won't say that they're all the devils. Okay. I just think all that right. culture. Get into a relationship. You... I've had relationships with white women. <laughs> I've had relationships with Dominican women, and and culturally, oh, it it be a little different. I remember I was working with this Puerto Rican chick. I'm in her mother crib, mm -hmm. and she was like such and such a. Yeah, you know how them black people houses be smelling, and I'm like, Ooh. what the fuck do that mean? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like y'all looking like I'm not black. They was like, I, so I'm thinking they're gonna clear it up, and they like, 
Nigga, y'all houses be smelling. Like, they double down on it. Like, wait, the, what are the they whole, talking about? The whole house double. I guess because it don't smell like adobo and sasson, but that's what they said. They was they double down on it. I'm like, I don't damn. Know what that's supposed to mean, but find out for me because I have no clue. All I say is just culturally, everybody just got differences. That's all I yeah, well, okay. All right. Whatever so, you say. So, we're going to get into this last scene. This last scent is a Chris Collins scent. I don't know if y'all just saw I almost tipped over in the chair because Christina got me drinking in the middle of the day. It is four o'clock in the afternoon. This is It's only you. one drink. You yo, acting like it's you. I'm okay. telling you, these Dominican women like, will fuck your life up, yo. I'm telling you, yo. Y'all think it's a game. Y'all be coming from out of town thinking, oh, I want a Dominican chick. Bro, they gonna feed you. Keep you in the house. Oh, I don't know about that. And make you fat. That's how I got. Everybody always asks me how I got my weight up. And I say, fucking with a Dominican chick. So this is from the house of Chris Collins. Da Savage. Okay. This is this is for the gentleman. Okay. Okay, what? Let's before I give you the note breakdown, let's see what you got to say about that. Okay. Mm. I I smelled this before. You okay. smell, and you liked it. It has like some type of like cedar or something in it. Cognac, plum, saffron, pepper, chili, rose. It gives me a wood. Cedar wood. I should have never said that because now she thinks she knows what she's talking. No, I about. don't know what I'm talking about. Vanilla and ooh. You know why the... I know what cedar is? How? Because I used to have chickens when I lived in Maryland. Oh, you was the hick. <laughs> Yeah. Nigga, yeah. Hey, chickens, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yo. Listen, I could adapt anywhere I go. City okay. girl, country girl, whatever. Right. She ain't going to fucking die. I said, throw me in the wilderness. Right. I'll, I'll survive. But right. anyways, <laughs> fuck you. I love that yeah, though. I had chickens. <laughs> I had 10 chickens, bro. So anyways, in my chicken coop, <laughs> I had, um, I would take, I would get cedar shavings because for the simple fact, it absorbs the, the smell of the urine and the feces from the chicken, so it doesn't smell as bad. So, and like if you want to have any planters, cedar wood, box planters are really right. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, should have been a horticulturalist, but you know. So, being that, that that smell, it gives you a bit of familiarity. I like this stuff. You like it. Yeah, so. Because it gonna, takes you back to. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of earthy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. wilderness type of. Yeah, like the warrior that I am. Mm -hmm. She loves it. Um, so definitely the first one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because this is how, when I have the women here, this uh -huh. is how we got to break it down. Okay. Well, she don't follow no rules, but go ahead. Yo, <laughs> that's why I don't re-rack my weights. Because I don't follow rules <laughs> when I go but to But that's your different, no, though. I, he Come don't on. follow no rules, DK. So look, right? When I have women here, I got to break it. You got to break it down. <laughs> is this scent good enough for the digits, the date, or the drawers? Ah, uh huh. Cause have you ever have you ever ran down on a guy and he smelled so good, you was like, mm. <laughs> Never? That's cause you fucking with them white men. That's why. <laughs> I fucking smell like wet dogs. <laughs> Yo, Yo. You're not kidding. Yo. What is that? You tell me. You the one that <laughs> They do smell like wet dogs? <laughs> nah, nah, for real. Like, especially truth to that? in the street, though. Like, when you walk, seriously, yeah, that's true. I don't know what the, maybe because they eat dairy, milk, and shit. I don't fucking I don't, know. I don't know what it is. Because they white, that's what it is. They don't bathe. White people don't like to wash themselves. I, don't, I will not say that because. I will is, say, I don't care. This is a non president show. All I will say is this. I'm going to tell you they're the ones that brought diseases to the America. Oh my that's God. Yo, please don't start that, yo. <laughs> Please don't start that, yo. But all I know is this. As as an African American, I was always told that I should have exceptional hygiene because we're looked at as mm -hmm. somebody that's being dirty. Okay. So, mm -hmm. you know, maybe part of their white privileges, they think that they don't have to, to bathe and, and wash and stuff like that. But um, now that I've introduced you to this, mm -hmm. um, I need you to rank digits, date, Draws each one because as much as you might have liked them when you first smelled them, they're gonna smell a little different uh, when you smell them again. So, final verdict. I believe this. Let me see something. 
That's Langston. That's the first one. If a man smells like that, digits, date, or draws? Date. Date? Mm -hmm. Okay. Date, that could possibly lead to the draws. <laughs> bueno. Second one. Not sip hot cognac. I love this. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Oh, it sounds like you changed your mind a little bit. About <laughs> no. It. I'm just like, no. Just do, explain this. But you at first you said you didn't like it at all. So it seems I like you. <laughs> seems like you like no, it no, a little bit. No, no, no. Um it's it does smell a little bit it smells better. Smells better, right? Yeah. Right. This that'll live. So this is what I want y'all to know is that when you spray the cologne on the, initially, it's not gonna smell that like that later on down the line. Mm -hmm. So now I don't hate it. You don't hate it. But I don't love it. You don't love it. It's it's a little bit better. It it did level up just a little bit. It leveled up a little a bit. A little bit, but not to the point of getting digits or nothing. Okay. I like that answer. It's like, okay, you 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 smell clean. I like that answer. Keep it moving. Now, final verdict. <laughs> Chris Collins Das Savage. This is the one that took you back to your days in the chicken coop. Digits, date, or draws? Maybe the digits. Maybe the digits? Maybe. So Harlem yeah. is date. And draws, too. And yeah. draws? Yeah, why not? Throw it in there. You know where I'm from, right? Yes. I know. I told. I knew you would. I knew you. Would. <laughs> no, it's not you. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no, look. No, 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 so, no. so look. I appreciate your time, mm -hmm. man. You know what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you pulled up. I knew, I knew that you would be a good interview. I was just hoping that uh, you didn't get camera shy. No. You know what I mean, because a lot of people they get on camera and they get <laughs> no. a little different, man. No, I don't. I mean, I wish, I wish we had more time because. This is well, cool. Don't worry, I'm gonna bring you back. Ideals for this thing again. Again, it's gonna take some time. I'm gonna give you some time, um, because I know you like me, so I gotta give you some time away Ideals. from me. Ideals, me. You know you, what? You're gonna be at the gym tomorrow, walking through. I am. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I definitely am. You're gonna be parading through like here I am. <laughs> yeah. Poppy shampoo. Yeah. Real. Listen, throwing up that 225, I don't know what the rest of them niggas in there is doing. Like you said, it's not too many Morenos in there, but the Morenos that's in there, we in there doing that work, right or wrong. I'm going to plead the fifth. Oh my God, yo. <laughs> I be in there doing that work, man, for real. Throwing up big shit. Stop playing with me, man. I might bench press. Look. You gonna ask me how, you gonna ask me how much I weight? I I would never ask a woman how much I weigh. All I know is I could bench press you. I can. I know I can. You like. You, we do it right here, right now. 120. I do it right. You said 130. Did I say 130? It's this, okay. this is that. You never say that, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> you, you never say what you think a woman weighs, bro. It's okay. I don't get offended easily, so it's okay. Yeah, I could bench press that. I'm, my max is two, 245 for now. I'm trying to get to 315. So you <laughs> throw you right up. Like that. Well, I don't want to get hurt because, you know, she's a little fragile too. So, listen, Tina, mm -hmm. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate your hospitality at the gym. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you offering me your time now. Mm -hmm. um, you said some guy came in there and said he wanted to take you for a drink at your job? Ooh, I didn't say that. You, okay. All right, we'll, we'll talk about that off camera. But, uh, <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it's a lot of dudes that do want to take you out for a drink. But they don't come and approach me. And they don't approach you, but they now- They scared. Like, they... trust me, all the trainers at my, my gym, when I do pretend that I'm working out, <laughs> I throw my little piece on, you know what I'm saying? And they're like, yo, Christine. Yeah, my name is Christina, whatever. Anyways, right. um, they be like, yo, Christina, you just be like, you just don't know. I'm like, don't know what? He's like, they all looking. I'm like, yeah, but nobody hollers. They scared. They were scared. Just a little bit. I'm not scared of shit. I... That's what they say on the so, internet. So, so, uh, play with me if you want. <laughs> right? Do me a favor, y'all. <laughs> Remember, I don't do this for views. This is the news you could use. Keep your distance, mind your business, step your collection up.